Coach, you, you, your front the other night really dominated uh, Vanderbilt. Of course, Benito Jones looked like he was playing in their backfield all night. Just comment on that for us, please. Right. Uh, you know, Freddie's been doing an excellent job with those guys, and um, they're, they're working hard. Um, we had some movement um, up front, and, and, uh, and uh, we were able to get Benito free sometimes. And sometimes he played, you know, he played excellent technique and other times and did good. I thought the guys were um, stout up front. I think they've been pretty much stout the entire year up there doing a good job. Um, and, uh, they, and then in the passing game, we were able to uh, create a few different um, pass rush lanes, um, with some of the things that we were doing. And the kids, we had been doing some of those things. They're just getting better at it. They're just getting better at it. And uh, um, I thought that, and then the coverage was a little bit tighter and a little bit better, so the guy had to hold it a little bit longer a few times, and um, which helped us. Micah, it sounds like Kelly Bryant is going to play Saturday. What what makes him different than any other quarterback that that you guys have faced thus far this season? Uh, well, he's able to uh, run the football. Um, and, you know, he's the, the RPO game. He's able to pull it down and throw it, and he's also able to pull it and run it on you know dive skips and different things that we that he's re reading the end. They also read the inside three technique on some um, type of midline type type thing, not exactly midline, but they're reading inside. So he's able to run the football and, um, and, and understands how to run it. Um, he's able to throw the ball well on the run. Um, he's created quite a few plays out of the pocket, um, staying alive, having free blitzers. He makes them miss and takes off running. So uh, uh, he, he, he's an excellent weapon, and he, he's done a, an excellent job for him. Do you spend any time preparing for his backup with the injury, or are you – Full on with Kelly this week. Uh, w w no, we'll, we've looked at the backup. He's played in quite a few games. They've um, been so far ahead in all their games, um, except for the very first one, um, that they uh, uh, he's played quite a bit. Um, number five, and, and got to see him do some things. But uh, you know they've been clicking off a lot of points offensively, especially in the first half. And a lot of their second half has been just. Uh, really looked like to me they're just trying to get out of the game in the fourth quarter. Um, they've been beaten the last four games. They've really, really played well offensively. And they played well offensively in the first game against Wyoming. They just had two uh, crazy turnovers down in the red zone, um, and uh, it kind of changed the game for them. How uh, important was the pass rush in helping those backs with coverage? And what did you think of Stanley and Prince in their games? Right. Well, I have a saying, the best pass rush is the quarterback on his back. I mean, the best pass defense for a secondary player is the quarterback on his back or being harassed. So the pass rush definitely helped um, the secondary. Um, and uh, But we did play better back there. Um, we were recognizing routes. We were, we were just in better position a lot more often, um, uh, which is good to see. The uh, Stanley and Prince, um, I thought they did some good things. And they also did some things like freshmen. Um, they're extremely talented. Um, and I, I expect to see them get better and better and better. Uh, as they go. And they've gotten better as this year's gone on with us. You know, we got them in fall camp and they kind of got better. I've noticed them and then they got a little better. And so each week they've been improving. So I expect them to make a big jump this week also. How much does it help to have just a little more depth there when you can even bring back guys like Kane's just – really just more depth in the secondary. Yeah, it, we, you, need, you need depth. Um, and so plus those guys, all of those guys are playing on special teams. And uh, so um, you need all the guys you can playing on special teams and then rotating them in and out to keep them fresh. Um, but the, the, the experience always helps because people get nicked up. And the more experience you have, um, the more depth you have, the better chance you have of not falling off the table, so to speak, when you have injuries. Coach, from a layman's standpoint, Jalen looked more like You're a Jaylen. layman? You've been doing this a long time. I yeah, figured you'd be... I'm still a layman. Okay, all right. I'm still a novice. Okay. Uh, Jalen looked more like Jalen uh, Jones. Uh-huh. And, and did you see, sense that as well? Is he getting better each week with his knee? Yes, that? he is. He's getting better and better. Um, it's not getting, you know, early in the year, it kind of tightened on up on him, you know, got sore, just like anything you come back in. And then hamstring was a little sore, all those type of things. He's starting to get now where he's putting back-to-back -back practices together over and over, um, starting to get more and more confidence. And, uh, you know, he, um, from my understanding, you know, he hadn't played a ton of football. You know, he got everybody was expecting he got hurt the very first game last year. So now he's starting to play more and more football. And so he's starting to get more and more comfortable. His vision's getting better and seeing things. 
not that he can't see, just opening up, you know, being able to see what re receivers are doing, what the quarterback's doing. Um, he's, you know, he's a very physical corner. I mean, he tackles really well. He's aggressive. Um, and we've, uh, you know, um, kind of figured out, I've kind of figured out some different things that all these guys do that's in their best um, abilities. And, and so I think that's helping us kind of um, curtail our secondary and coverages to fit their needs better. Coach, you mentioned confidence with him. That was going to be my question to the two freshmen. It's a position where you have to have, obviously, short memory. And uh, mm -hmm. where do you think they are in their confidence level uh, to this point? Well, I think it's good. Um, you want them to be like a great three-point shooter. Shoot, if I miss, I'm going to keep hitting. You know, that's the way a DB's got to think. I've got to, you know, they beat you on something. You've got to come back and challenge on the next play. Because they see you out there nervous, they're going to keep coming at you. Um, so uh, I feel like they have that confidence. And that just comes with playing and making the plays and understanding and learning from it. And um, they take coaching really well. They're, they're always trying to absorb everything like a sponge, um, which is good. What elevated Luke Knox into a start, starting role? Well, Luke's been playing really well. Um, and uh, um, we like some of the things that Luke's doing. But we're, you know, rotating Sam and Luke. They play basically about the same amount of time. They both play special teams, so they're rotating in and out on that. Um, and we, I felt like the, the other night in that game, um, going into the game, I felt like I'd be able to keep the outside backers on the field most of the game from the way they were going to – I thought they were going to attack us. So we wanted to be able to rotate them in and out. But Luke had a really good week of practice, and, and, and Sam's been doing well also. But I think both those guys are, are, are good football players. Saw Jalen Jordan in there at the second half. Yeah. What has he done in practices? The get himself in position for PT. Yeah, uh, you know, Jalen's playing on um, two or three different special teams for us. Uh, he's a, a physical kid um, that we're playing at corner, and he got in there in the game and, and did some good things. Um, and I think he'll keep getting better. I'm excited about Jalen.